Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Welcome. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. We are doing Marc Jacobs today. It is the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar Nude Lip Trio. So this set comes with a lip liner, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. Just to keep in mind as well, I believe these are mini sizes, but let's just open the box and see. Yep, so these are the mini sizes, of course. I always try and get the mini sizes first before I commit to any full size because I don't want to be disappointed and waste all my money. I don't know about you, but I like to keep my coins. So we have the lip liner here, and then we have the lip gloss, and then we have the lipstick, but how cute is that, right? It kind of looks like a, a lighter. It looks like a high-end lighter to me for some reason. I like that. We're gonna start off with the lip liner. This is the size of it, this is the color. You probably can't see it, but let's see it's retractable so you don't need a sharpener and we are gonna see how much product is in this lip liner here let's see how much product we get well I think that's okay that's about it I hope it can retract back down so that's about how much product you get for the lip liner it's looking like a peachy nude, so I'm gonna try and retract this back down. Thank goodness it's going back down because that would have not been good if it didn't. Okay, so now that I got that back to where I want it to be, I'm gonna do the hand swatch to give you a better look at the shade. So you can, it looks like there's a little pink in there too. All right, so that's the lip liner. And what I want to do is put this all over my lips. Just so you know, that felt really creamy when I did the hand swatch, so I know it's gonna be a smooth application. Yeah, it's showing up, so that's definitely a good start. Well, it definitely gave me good coverage. It covered my entire lips. It feels smooth. I didn't feel it tugging at my lips. You know, some lip pencils are so hard that it just tugs at your lips and just give you an overall uncomfortable experience. Did not get that with this lip pencil. Application was smooth. I have good coverage, so I can't complain about that. Things are looking good. Pigmentation is great. I'm happy with it so far. So I'm looking forward to trying the other two. Okay, so I removed the lip liner and now we are gonna try the lip gloss by itself. And this is in the shade Cream and Sugar. So they're all in the Cream and Sugar shade. Okay, so this is what the lip gloss looks like. Let's see the hand swatch. So what I see here is it's giving me a little bit of a champagne vibe. So it has like a yellowy champagne color going on. So from what I can remember about the Marc Jacobs lip glosses, they're very minty which I love the minty smell. And I have tried these before in the past. I actually bought a set of three. There was a mini set of three of these and I purchased it. And I actually love them. But that was until I realized that they kind of dried in a weird kind of way that I really wasn't loving. So they kind of dry. I find them to kind of, I find them to emphasize the lines in my lips as they dry the longer I wore them, which I know 
you know, it happens most naturally, but but for the price of these, I wouldn't expect them to dry that way. And I don't know if it's just me, but the texture kind of changes the longer you wear the lip gloss and it didn't change for the better. Like to me, it got worse. And that's what kept me from not wearing these lip glosses because I found that that was happening a lot more. I don't know if I just got a bad batch, but the longer I wore the lip glosses, the worse it looked on me. And I didn't find my lips to feel hydrated afterwards, like what you would expect from most lip glosses. So that really turned me off from wearing these lip glosses. And like right now, I love this color. I love how it looks. I love the minty smell. I love how hydrated it feels right now. But it doesn't wear very well throughout the day. Like I said, the longer I found myself wearing them, the worse it looked and the worse it felt. It, it kind of got grainy too and I didn't like the feeling at all. So if you guys have tried the Marc Jacobs lip glosses before and you felt the same thing or you experienced the same thing, let me know in the comments below just so I know that I am not the only one who is experiencing this. I want to know what you guys have experienced with these because I do like the glosses but I just don't like how they wear for a very long time. It's It really discourages me from wearing them. So I'm definitely going to find out how this one wears and if it's the same thing then I'll probably refrain from buying these in the future because I think one of this costs about 30 bucks the full size. And that's a lot of money. I can just get a nice ColourPop Ultra Glossy Gloss or something from the drugstore because I am not gonna spend 30 bucks for something that leaves my lips looking like a prune. And that's just that. But I like how it feels and looks now. I'm not complaining about that, but I will definitely find out if they are still doing the same thing um, as they did in the past. So hopefully not. So lastly but not leastly, we have the cute little lipstick. I can't get over how cute this is. So what you do is just pull it off like so. And let's see how much product we get. So for a mini, that's pretty typical of the size that you get. So nothing surprising there. And next up is the hand swatch. I think I still got some glitter from that lip gloss, but we shall see. This feels really creamy. That went on like butter. So now I haven't tried the lipsticks from Marc Jacobs before. So this is a first for me. Um, just because Marc Jacobs is out of my price range. I can't afford Marc Jacobs like that. So. Um, so when the minis become available, that's when I kind of jump to get it because that's the only way I can afford it. Not sure how I feel about this color though. I might have to do a little bit extra work to make this work for me. The formula is excellent. It went on really nicely. I did not have to struggle to get the formula onto my lips. It just melted like butter. So that's a good thing. So that tells me it's very hydrating, at least from the first impression, it's hydrating. So, and that will also tell me that it doesn't, that it's probably not gonna last very long if it's as hydrating, unless this is gonna dry into a mat which I don't think it will. It's not the worst that I've seen. I do have to make the necessary adjustments like wearing a darker lip liner just to make it, just so I don't look sickly or ghostly or like I'm casket ready. I will definitely have to wear a darker lip liner because I cannot wear this by itself. It's not, I don't feel I don't feel like my lips are defined. I feel like my lips just run into my face. So that's the reason why I would need to give it some definition. Um, 
but overall it feels good because of how creamy it is you can see a little bit of it on the back of my hand but it's creamy so that's what you expect from a hydrating lipstick you cannot expect it to last very long um, as far as the color but the hydration will be there afterwards once the color is gone but this is what the lipstick looks like it's not my favorite it might work for someone who is of a lighter skin tone but this one absolutely doesn't compliment me right off the bat and um, yeah I will have to put some work in to make it work for me so this is what it looks like Okay, so the last thing I want to do is wear all three lippies together because after all, it is a trio. So I'm expecting that all of them will work together. So what I'm gonna do is apply the lip liner and then I'll put the lipstick on and then the gloss on top so we can all see what that looks like. Okay, so now it's time for the lipstick. I just wanna kind of blot the lip liner just a little bit and now we can apply the lipstick okay so that's the lip liner and the lipstick so the last thing we're gonna put on is our lip gloss we're gonna put this right on top uh, well my lips aren't as glossy as I expected it to be there is some shine there, but it's not that shiny. I guess the shine shows more when you just wear the lip gloss alone, but when you wear it over lipstick, you don't get the full effect of the high shine. I still wouldn't be comfortable wearing this out just because it's, yeah. The color just doesn't work for me and I accepted that already. This trio together is not gonna work for me. The lip liner by itself, it's not gonna work for me. The lipstick by itself is not gonna work. The only thing that can work by itself for me is the lip gloss. It's not a clear lip gloss, but it's subtle enough where it can be universally flattering to complement all skin tones. So I would have no problem wearing the lip gloss by itself. The lip liner and the lipstick, however, that's a different story. I would have to put in extra work to make it work for me and complement my skin tone because they are not doing anything for me right now. But at least you have an idea of what the trio looks like and what all the products look like on their own so you can make the best decision for you. And if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because there is no other way for you to find out whenever I post a video. You're just gonna have to miss out. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.